when approaching an intersection at the same time as another driver, who has the right of way? A. The driver who arrived first or the driver to the right if both arrived at the same time. B. The driver who is driving faster. C. The driver to the left. Answer A. The driver who arrived first or the driver to the right if both arrived at the same time. When two drivers approach an uncontrolled intersection at about the same time, who should yield the right of way? A. The driver on the right. B. The driver on the left. C. The driver who is traveling faster. Answer A. The driver on the right. When pedestrians walk along a roadway without a sidewalk, they should A. Walk on the right side, facing traffic. B. Walk on the left side, facing traffic. C. Walk in the middle of the roadway. Answer B. Walk on the left side, facing traffic. Florida law requires motorists to give bicyclists a minimum of under clearance. A. 4 feet. B. 5 feet. C. 3 feet. Answer C. 3 feet. If no bike lane is available, bicyclists must A. Stay on the leftmost side of the road. B. Stay on the rightmost side of the road. C. Use the sidewalk. Answer B. Stay on the rightmost side of the road. Using parking lights in place of headlights while driving is A. Permitted under certain conditions. B. Against the law. C. Recommended at dusk. Answer B. Against the law. For a vehicle with automatic transmission parked uphill, the gear shift should be in A. Reverse B. Neutral C. Park Answer C. Park Parking on the roadway side of another parked vehicle is known as A. Over parking B. Double parking C. Cross parking Answer B. Double parking. It is illegal to park within how many feet of a railroad crossing? A. 30 feet. B. 40 feet. C. 50 feet. Answer C. 50 feet. You must not pass another vehicle. A. When a vehicle has stopped at a crosswalk for a pedestrian. B. When you are at a four-way stop. C. In a parking zone. Answer A. When a vehicle has stopped at a crosswalk for a pedestrian. On limited access highways, which of the following is not allowed? A. Cars with high speed. B. Motorcycle with 500 cc. C. Motor-driven cycles. Answer. C. Motor-driven cycles. What should not be present on limited access highways? A. Multiple lanes. B. Stop signs. C. Toll booths. Answer. B. Stop signs. When entering a limited access highway, you should A. Increase your speed only after merging into traffic. B. Yield the right-of-way to traffic on the highway. C. Stop in the acceleration lane if there is no space for you to enter safely. Answer. B. Yield the right-of-way to traffic on the highway. Which one of the following should not be done while leaving a limited-access highway? A. Slowing down in the deceleration lane. B. Checking the posted safe speed for the exit ramp. C. Making last-minute turns into an exit. Answer. C. Making last-minute turns into an exit. A truck or any vehicle towing another vehicle must not follow within how many feet of another truck or vehicle in tow, outside cities or towns? A. 200 feet. B. 
300 feet. C. 400 feet. Answer B. 300 feet. What should a driver do before changing lanes or making certain turns to ensure no one is in their blind spots? A. Check the rear view mirrors only. B. Rely on peripheral vision only. C. Turn their head to make sure these areas are clear. Answer C. Turn their head to make sure these areas are clear. How far must you be before an oncoming vehicle when returning to the right side of the road after passing? A. 100 feet. B. 200 feet. C. 300 feet. Answer B. 200 feet. What is the recommended following distance under favorable weather and traffic conditions? A. 2 seconds. B. 3 seconds. C. 4 seconds. Answer. C. 4 seconds. What direction does the traffic flow in a roundabout? A. Clockwise. B. Counterclockwise. C. Straightforward. Answer. B. Counterclockwise. When entering a roundabout, what should you do if there is no traffic in the roundabout? A. Stop and wait for permission. B. Yield and proceed with caution. C. Enter without yielding. Answer. C. Enter without yielding. Who can use the HOV lanes? A. Any vehicle. B. Vehicles with two or more occupants. C. Vehicles with four or more occupants. Answer. B. Vehicles with two or more occupants. Are motorized vehicles allowed to drive in bike lanes? A. Yes, at any time. B. Yes, but only when bicyclists are not present. C. No, unless turning at intersections and no bicyclists are present. Answer. C. No, unless turning at intersections and no bicyclists are present. What does it mean if you see red reflectors on lane lines? A. You are on the right side of the road. B. You are facing traffic the wrong way. C. You are on a one-way street. Answer. B. You are facing traffic the wrong way. Which of the following steps is incorrect when performing a three-point turn? A. Move as far right as possible before beginning. B. Shift to reverse after moving to the left curb. C. Accelerate quickly after shifting to reverse. Answer. C. Accelerate quickly after shifting to reverse. At a two-way stop, which vehicle has the right-of-way? A. The vehicle that is turning. B. The vehicle that is going straight. C. The vehicle that arrived first. Answer. B. The vehicle that is going straight. In open intersections, if you plan to make a left turn and a vehicle is approaching from the opposite direction, you must. A. Yield the right of way. B. Proceed slowly. C. Honk the horn. Answer A. Yield the right of way. For how long must you give a turn signal before making a turn? A. 50 feet. B. 100 feet. C. 150 feet. Answer B. 100 feet. Is it legal to use your directional signals to inform drivers behind you that they can pass? A. Yes, it's a recommended practice. B. No, it is against the law. C. Only on highways. Answer. B. No, it is against the law. Who should you yield to when making a turn? A. Only to vehicles. B. To bicyclists and pedestrians crossing your path. C. No one, if you have the right of way. Answer. B. To bicyclists and pedestrians crossing your path. 
Doubling the speed of a vehicle will make the braking distance and impact. A. Two times greater. B. Four times greater. C. Six times greater. Answer. B. Four times greater.